Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and today I'm here for a very short unpopular opinion, and that unpopular opinion is that fandom wars are stupid. Like, so there's many people who are going to be like, of course fandom wars are stupid. That's not an unpopular opinion. And I wish that was actually the case. But with the number of people that are out there that are still fueling fandom wars and encouraging and behaving in a way in which they are feeding into fandom wars, the idea that fandom wars are stupid while might be common, is not actually commonly acted on. There are many people out there who will claim that fandom wars are stupid, but then they will turn around and they will accuse one fandom of doing something when really all they're doing is the same thing that everybody else is doing. And granted, those things are often what one can consider poking their nose in somebody else's business. But the thing is, is that your idol is a public figure. So once they're a public figure, even if somebody is not a fan of them, you don't have the right to say, it's none of your business, stay out of it. Now, does that mean that somebody who is not a fan of a group should be poking their nose in somebody else's business? Not necessarily, but poking their nose in somebody else's business has also, and I've seen this many times happen, lead to people who were not once fans becoming fans. So saying to keep away isolates a fandom, but also people being negative does not help either. But what happens and what really becomes the issue is that even if somebody pokes their head in somebody else's fandom and they start to say something terrible, the problem is that those horrible things being said are being met with more aggression. And that aggression then translates to more bad feelings that contribute to this entire negative situation and this negative fandom war. And I've seen this happen with many, many groups many groups. <laughs> it's one of those things where it can be easily avoided. Yes, you want to defend your favorites and you have every right to defend your favorites, but defending your favorite by putting down somebody else in any way, whether that's the actual fandom or the actual group, all it's doing is adding more negativity and creating more bad feelings because what happens is you say something negative in retaliation to something else that somebody else said. But the problem is, if somebody else that's a third party comes in and just sees your negative comment, they don't see that original what started it. They only see the negativity that you're putting out and that's just gonna add to more negativity. And then it kind of just builds off of this where not everybody sees the whole picture. They're just going to see the negative bit that's they're seeing and that just contributes to the entire pool really what needs to happen is people need to stop being so negative but it's human nature to be negative and it's hard to just stop being negative but if we all could just take a step back and think hey what i'm about to say is pretty darn negative maybe i shouldn't say it maybe I should just keep it to myself, then things would be a lot better. And that's a lot different than being critical of somebody because even when you have proper criticism, that can be handled in a good and a bad way. You can be critical of somebody without being negative. And now this might blow somebody's mind, but yes, it is possible. If you're constructive in what you're being critical about, if you're being statement bland about what is the issue that you're having, then you have formed a blank slate. You've put out your opinion and you're able to be critical about it. However, you've also managed to not be negative. But then there's things that start to get in the way that people like to do. And those things that tend to hurt are the superlatives. 
it's the worst I've ever seen. They're the most terrible that I've ever seen. How can anybody like this? Such slight languages and slight changes into the way something is delivered can take something that can be critical or just a plain basic opinion and make it super negative and that's what makes people defensive. The idea that there needs to be a fandom war is ludicrous because many times the people that you're supporting are often either friends or friendly or at least respect the people that you are trying to fight against. And it makes no sense because it's disrespectful. Would you want the same thing to happen to your idol? And don't say, well, my idol would never do that or my fandom would never behave that way because every single fandom that I've seen has done these things. Every single one. Are there certain fandoms who have learned over the years that it's not worth it and it doesn't happen as often? Yes, there are. But that doesn't exclude any fandom from doing this. And it's really a problematic thing within the entire K-pop landscape. This idea that everything has to be a war. At the end of the day, it's about sales. Sales. So if you're out there and buying and doing things that will end up translating to monetary gain for your idol, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. As long as your idols aren't getting into some major actual law trouble, then none of the little criticisms that you put out there that the fandom makes really matter. What matters is that they're making money and they're not getting in actual trouble. As long as those things are not happening, it doesn't matter what little petty snipe is sent your way about your group or what petty snipe you're sending out. So guess what? It's best just to not say it. Do unto others as you would want to do unto yourself. Think about everything that you're saying and don't even flip it on your fandom. Flip it on you. Would you want those things being said about you? because your idols are people too. Would you want that said about you?